everyone. I'm Rick with Cybermedics, and we're here today to talk about the Dell G15-5515 notebook computer. So let's get started. In particular, we're going to take the cover off of this and upgrade the system memory. I originally had purchased one of these with a memory upgrade of 32 gigabytes. I got it from Newegg, but the problem was the memory came back. It was running at 2.66 gigahertz instead of 3.2 gigahertz. So the memory was configured to run slower than the, the processor. So what you're going to have to do, there's two, four, six, eight screws that are going to have to be removed. That sounds like it's done. All right. And then take a small plastic thing to get the case to come loose from the side to get the cover up. Got it. I highly recommend you find something plastic that's a lot thinner than this. I don't think you really needed the screws to keep this thing on, that's for sure. It's finally starting to come loose, so there we go. Seems like the front's going to be your hardest part to get it open. There we go. Oh. Just got to keep fiddling with it until it, it breaks loose. Okay. Now, what you don't want to do is flip this thing over upside down and lose, lose the screws. So we've got two, four out, and the four are in this container, so that's good. Okay. Oh my god, they made that easy. Look at that. Okay, so it just opens right up. Nice. So, we'll put the gloves back on. Okay. So, there's got to be two little carefully. Oh, it looks like they're. Yeah. So, that's right out. So, that's configuration of that so you know you're sure you you bought the right memory it doesn't hurt to just double check the physical orientation of it you can see that the pins are offset so there's only one way this can go in so you want to keep the orientation as you took it out so that when you put the other one in, you know which way it goes in. And that way you can just kind of feel it kind of snap in. Uh, if you notice on this one, the long set of pins are on that side. So just do the same thing, kind of 
Just slide it in. There you go. I feel, you feel it go in when, and the, you won't see any of the contacts once that goes in the right. There you go. And I just snapped, snapped in. That's a good sign. Look at that. We've got 3200 megahertz. So 3.2 gigahertz memory, which is the same as the processor speed, which is what you want. Like I said, originally I had a 2.6 gigahertz here for memory. So if you get a memory upgrade from there, you want to check it. System memory definitely says it's 64 gigabytes of RAM. So it went into a Dell diagnostic screen. Okay, continue. Oh. BIOS setup. No, oh, it's not letting me do anything. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, it's quick test. So it's doing, it says testing the network. All right, it's 98% completed. Oh, here we go. Exit's in the far corner. I didn't see it. You guys probably saw it before I did. Okay. Yep. We're all good. All right, the about properties on the computer shows 64 gigabytes of RAM now, and the AMD is at 3.2 gigahertz. All good. Hope you found the video helpful. That concludes our memory upgrade of the G155515 laptop. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Hope you will consider subscribing, and have a great and wonderful automation day.